In today's video, we're opening a box of Champion Pack 8. Time to do, 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 do. What's up guys, we're back with another epic opening video. In this video, we have 89 Champion Pack 8. If you've never heard of Champion Pack, you might have heard of OTS Pack, which is the current tournament pack out there right now. We're at OTS 21. So if you go all the way back to OTS 1, and then you go right before that, you have Astral Pack 8, which had eight different packs, obviously. If you go before Astral Pack, you have Turbo Pack, which had eight different packs. If you go before those, you have Champion Pack, and that is where we're sitting at today. This was the second iteration of Tournament Pack, the original, which is called Tournament Pack, and went through 1 through 8, and these went to 1 through 8 as well. The only one that has not gone 1 through 8 is OTS, which we're at now, and it's at 20 so who knows we might go to 100 with that one but before we actually get into these we have a giveaway i'll be giving away these two cards we have a 2017 reprint thousand eyes restrict and then an evenly matched so a little old school and a little meta mixed together in this giveaway just like the video be subscribed to the notifications let me know down below what do you want to see out of champion pack 8 i'm going to let you guys know some of the best cards in here this video is sponsored by factor factor is a hassle-free way to eat healthy factor meals arrive pre-prepared and ready in less than two minutes they also have a rotating menu with over 34 meals and 36 smoothies each week factor also helps you avoid fast food with no nonsense meals that are ready quickly they also take the guesswork out of eating so you don't have to wonder if you're eating healthy or not i'm pretty busy even working from home i don't want to have to go out and get food because it takes a long time to like leave you know get in your car everything and then i don't want to have to go to the grocery store and buy groceries and then bring it back and then make something it's just a lot easier when factor just sends it right to your doorstep and you can make it in two minutes they also have options like keto calorie smart vegan and vegetarian so there's something for everyone and your meal plans range from four to 18 a week so you can cater to how many you need i especially love factor because it's so easy to make in a couple of minutes and just have food ready without having to go out or prepare your own meal it's so quick and so convenient i recently cooked up a factor meal myself and it was incredible Click the link down below and use code POGRUXONJUN50 for 50% off your first box. Thanks again to Factor for sponsoring this video. All right, so inside here, there are a lot of pretty big value cards. These are not huge sets. I think the total number of cards in here is, yeah, 20 cards. So it's a small set. We're hoping to pull like every card in the set out of these 89 packs. It is pretty difficult to get foils as one in 12 for a super, one in 48 for an ultra. So, you know, we have the ratios, but they're still pretty rare. The best card in here in terms of value is Lumina Lightsworn Summoner. The card's about $300 for a super rare at the moment. Pretty insane, but champion pack, a tournament pack, they get really, really expensive. Then we have Dimensional Fissure, it's about 145. Mind Crush is an $86 super, uh, 65 for the Prohibition. Gravity Behemoth is the ultra, and it's only about 18 bucks. So it's one of the cheaper ones because it's not really playable then there's some crazy commons like royal oppressions like a 12 dollar common mushroom man the original is in here so hopefully we will get to see that then there's some other cool stuff so let's just go ahead and get into it this was originally a 100 pack box which is what they come in the guy i bought them from kept a light pack for himself then i opened 10 packs in the every pack opening you guys or the 200 pack opening i always call it that it's not actually an every pack opening it's just 200 awesome packs go check out that video if you missed it it was one of our best videos we've ever done let's open up these 89 packs now and finish out the box so the rare is right at the beginning so we're gonna get spoiled right when we open i'm not going to bother to open them backwards for all of these beckoning light neospatian dark panther so there's some good stuff in here we're going to be looking out for that mushroom man because that's one of the most epic commons you can pull i'm hoping that we will pull it okay so we have a herald of creation cell virus and alien mother i think alien mother might actually be decent too i mean almost all the commons are worth a little bit if they don't have a reprint especially so that's mushroom man for you magician's valkyria alien warrior and miraculous rebirth so at this point let's see i guess we can try and put, complete the full set all right let's see champion pack game eight will we get all 20 cards today we have another uh silent magician level four you know, special dark panther and a beckoning light we have pulled all of those so far i'm gonna try and get all the cards together and show you guys all at once that'll be kind of fun i think all right we have oh our first super rare a mind crush super i didn't even know this had a super until just now when i read that earlier uh very nice mushroom man what a pack mushroom man and a super rare mind crush which as i read to you guys is pretty expensive mind crush what a nice card 65 bucks i think it uh, looks really clean i'm not gonna lie mind crush was actually a pretty decent card this is one where you d yeah declare a card name if you have hand knowledge like with trap dust shoot it's pretty insane then we got that mushroom man showing up the original even though he's not technically the original because mushroom man number two came first for some reason founded human regions this creature attacks enemies with a lethal rain of poisonous spores very nice our first super rare pull all right, we have di different, di built from a different dimension. Burial. I always say built. I don't know why. I just feel like I read that every time. We have a cell explosion virus. Okay. 
and an alien mother. We have pulled those before. Still looking for a royal oppression because those are some of the big money cards in the commons here. Magician's Valkyria, we've pulled that a few times. And then, yeah, same cards. Looking to pull the last couple commons and rares that we need for the full set. Oh, I think we might need Necro Gardener. That might be one of them. Yeah. Okay, number 11. And then Mushroom Man again, the legend. He's back. All right. I think we need two more commons, one more rare. That might be the rare. Great Shogun Shein. I think it is. Number eight. Yes. Okay. So we have all the rares. There we go. A 13. That's one of the ones we were missing. And then Vanity's Ruler. I think that completed all of our commons so far in rares. So here are the numbers 12 through 20, which I believe are all the commons and rares so far. So we've pulled everything except the supers and ultras, but we have one of the supers, obviously. We have number... Uh, what is it, number 11 Mind Crush? No, oh, it's only number three. Where'd I get number 11 from? I don't know. I will be setting aside all of our extra Mushroom Man and Royal Oppression for sure. Okay, we have a Burial from a Different Dimension, Beckoning Light, and Alien Woolia. It's so weird with these three-pack uh, openings. Hopefully you enjoy this, though. I mean, it's a pretty, it's a really rare set. You probably won't see this open very often. So, that I've never actually opened this. I've opened a lot of other champion packs, but I've never opened number eight so i think this really makes it close to if i've opened all of them we've opened champion pack one on the 20k special that's one of, that's the rarest one uh crazy value like the metamorphosis book of moon and stuff like that then uh champion pack two we've opened a couple of times with our magician of faiths uh, we ended up getting some psa tens royal oppression very good three we opened four we opened and i didn't get a bottomless five we opened six i don't remember if we've opened six six and seven i'm not really sure so i think we've opened all but maybe six and seven so far pretty good we've done well we've opened a lot of them wait did i ever get this one herald of creation what else can we get so far just one super out of these boxes we're probably i'm trying to think what the ratios are probably two ultras which would, if you didn't see the every pack opening spoiler alert if you want to go watch it go watch it now we pulled an ultra so we should maybe get one more if hopefully we do so we can complete the set uh, in this video and then supers we didn't get any so oh how many times does 12 go into 100 like eight supers by that by that logic i don't know if that's actually right that would make sense because we'd get there's another mushroom man we would get uh you know 10 foils and i think 10 foils is pretty average okay so so far we just have one though one foil we should get nine today by that logic but it's not always exact so maybe we'll get 10 maybe we'll get eight you guys remember that Turbo Pack 4 opening when we opened uh, like a whole box? We pulled a lot of foil. We have one Royal Depression so far, by the way. But I did pull like three when I opened the 10 packs in the other video, so that could be why. Okay, another rare. Okay, where's our Lumina? Please please don't be a box where it has like no Lumina. Like it did to us with Bottomless Trap Hole and Champion Pack 4. I think I have a Tournament Pack uh, playlist, so I'll try to link that at the end of the video. So if you guys wanna watch more tournament pack openings, which are probably some of the rarest openings I've done, they're the tournament packs. You're just not gonna see them very often. We've had some really crazy luck with the tournament packs, especially like TP1, that was pretty big. Uh, lots of rares in a row. Mushroom Man number two, where are all the Royal Oppressions? Wow, the value common is not showing up. This is not good. By the way, this is a very expensive opening. I'm just gonna throw that out there because these packs are not cheap, just one of them. And we bought 99 of them. <laughs> So they're kind of expensive. Okay, Necro Guard. No, we have Annie's Ruler, Cell Explosion Virus. I used to like weigh these out and only do the, the heavies, which is what you probably should do. But, you know, these days I'm just like, you know what? Let's just open it all. It'd be fun. Royal Oppression. Very nice. Royal OP is back. Okay, we have one Mind Crush. Where is everything else? I didn't mix anything up or anything. So another Mushroom Man. Cool. Bless us, Champion Pack Game 8. I believe in you. Let's go. We have Necro. Also, shout out to Justin. I got these from Justin. I met him at, which one was this? Minnesota, maybe? Might have been Minnesota. And he was like, hey, I got this box. And I was like, I can't buy it. And then he like followed up like for like four months because I finally was able to buy it. And then I was like, yeah, I'll get it now. <laughs> but it took a long time because I was like, yeah, this is an expensive box, man. I don't know if I can afford that right now. And, uh, you know, still probably couldn't, but I still bought it anyway. Okay, I'm destroying these packs. We have gotten a lot of rares in a row. Where are you, Hollows? Why can't I find you? Come on, Lumina. Lumina's what we really want. I mean, that's the big one. I was looking away while, during the opening, so I'd been like, oh, look, a Lumina. That'd been pretty crazy. Burial from a different dimension is also, like, expensive, so I guess I should be setting that aside, but I haven't been. I'll be checking all these afterwards, though, because there, I mean, there's a lot of value cards in these champion pack openings. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna organize them afterwards. There's only 20 different cards, so it's not gonna be, like, that hard. Royal Oppression, nice. Let's see what else we can get. Can we get a foil? Not this time. Not this time. We have a Cell Explosion Virus. I don't know what year this came out. I'm guessing this was, if it was before, right before Turbo Pack 1 with Judgment Dragon. So it's probably 2007, maybe 2008, something like that. Uh, somewhere between 2007 and 2008, I think I'm right about that. Mushroom Man number one, not number anything. He's just Mushroom Man. That would be my guess. Still more rares. This is not looking great. 
We have pulled an ultra and a super out of these so far total, if you include the other video. So, oh! It's a mind crush. Uh, I guess technically not a horrible one out of the five foils, but uh, we are really looking for the Lumina and the Dimensional Fissure. This is still not a bad card. It's definitely centered, which is great. I'm probably gonna end up grading all of these just because, you know, I love grading stuff, it's fun. And uh, if they're actually like centered like this, then I'm, you know, why not? Probably get a 10. And by probably, I mean, there's a chance at a 10 because probably, it's never a probably get a 10, let's be honest. Let's like a new card, then it probably is. Uh, Herald of Create, even, not even new cards because like a lot of the ghosts and stuff, they look, you know, they look terrible right out of the pack. So yeah, there's another dimensional uh, burial from a different dimension. I'm gonna get that right eventually. I call it built. I call it burial. I'm just, just all wrong. Necro Gardener. So we have two foils so far. They are both mind crushed. So is that our mind getting crushed by how bad this loss is going to be on this opening? Probably. That's probably what it is going to be. Fortunately, I did, you know, at least get some, you know, packs opened in the other video. So kind of got a second video. Not really because... <laughs> Oh, Dimensional Fissure! There we go! That's a good one. And then we got a couple other cards. Let's keep this nice and separated from those other cards. Wow, that's nice. That is beautiful. That looks really good. Dimensional Fissure. Who loves this card? Huh? Banishing every card going to the graveyard? Oh yeah, beautiful. Technically it says any monster sent to the graveyard is moved from play. So does it go and then get removed? I think that's what that means. I don't know. Good old Yu-Gi-Oh card text, baby. Who likes to figure it out? And the answer is not me. Not me. Somebody else can handle that. All right. So we've got three foils now. We got the second best foil. That's really good. And then we have two of the third best foils. We have not pulled Prohibition, which is... Oh, wait, Mind Crush is 87, not 65. My, uh, the Prohibition is 65. Okay, that's actually pretty good then. We'll take that. And then the Lumina is like 300. So we really want to get... If we could get two Lumina, it would be awesome. We really want to at least get one. But we have done these Champion Pack openings before. Champion Pack 4, I'm talking to you. Where you don't get the best one at all. We got none of a bottomless trap hole. It was really sad. I'm saying that a lot, which means I'm probably going to jinx myself into that happening, which I really hope doesn't happen. Some of them, like Champion Pack 2, I just got two of everything, which was great. I mean, that's what I want. Champion Pack 8, gotta believe. We have a burial from a different dimension. We got a Royal Oppression. That was a good pack for not having a foil. That'd be nice to have a Royal Oppression and uh, Mushroom Man number two and a foil. That'd be really nice. That'd be some fire. We got Valkyria. Champion pack eight. Will you bless us with that Lumina Light Sworn Summoner? I don't know why I had an accent on that, but it just feels like Summoner. I don't know. Maybe it should. I don't know. Not sure. Just going to keep going. We have Shein. The, these are such a weird opening because you have to like open them right into the foil and then, you know, kind of like bouncing all over the place, looking at the card. You know, I don't know. It's kind of weird, but these are so old. They're so epic. It's worth it. It's worth it to open these up for a little bit of fun and to, to remember like what we actually pulled. That's the cool part about these videos. You can always go back and find out what did we pull again and then go watch it and just see. Okay, she and Mushroom Man. All right, we're down to uh, not that many packs left. Right now we're at three foils. That seems a little low. <laughs> seems a little low. I'm hoping that turns around because uh, I mean, 10 is what I was thinking. It should be nine. I mean, oh, there it is. Speaking of Lumina, Light Sworn Summoner, here we go. The best card in the set. I have, in fact, pulled this card before. You might be like, what? I thought you hadn't even opened this. I opened some of this for Kaz. It was oh, probably over a year ago, and we pulled the Lumina Light Sworn Summoner for him out of like two packs or something. It was it, absurd. It was crazy. There's a little bit of edge wear on the top of this. There's also a couple of print lines on the back. Yeah, you guys see those? That is probably not great. Still probably great it though. Pretty amazing card. Oh, by the way, remember when I said it'd be nice to have Lumino Royal Oppression? Okay, we didn't get the Mushroom Man, but that would have been crazy. Okay, so uh, that gives us four foils. Five total in the box. Should, in theory, get five more. We'll see if that's going to happen. I hope it does. Uh, otherwise, it's not great. Will we get another Lumina? We have Silent Magician Mushroom Man. Let's see if we can get more foils in the last few packs. Come on. We need some foils. It's been a slow start. I mean, Lumina's definitely helped. Lumina's a big pull. We have another burial from a different dimension. Alien Warrior and a Royal Oppression. Okay, still a pretty good pack. Come on, supers. We have not pulled a uh, Prohibition, but I wouldn't be mad not to pull that. I mean, it's not a bad card, but uh, I wouldn't be mad if we replaced that with a different one because it is the worst card. I mean, Gravity Behemoth is technically way worse, so we really don't even want the Ultra, which is kind of funny. With these champion packs, they never had good Ultras. They were always just like cards you didn't really want. I don't know why they did that. The Ultra Rare being like the worst card for some reason of the foils. Come on, Champion Pack 8. Let's go. Oh, there it is. 
<laughs> there it is. I jinxed. I was like, ah, we don't want that card. And then we immediately pull it. Okay, Gravity Behemoth. I do want that card, though. I mean, I'm, I'm okay with getting a Champion Pack Ultra. Very cool. Back. I mean, it kind of looks almost bent back there. You guys see that? It almost looked right there like it's bent. You guys see that across? I bet this would get like a 7 at PSA because of that. All right, so that is definitely not going to be a gradable one, I think. I mean, it looks like it might be slightly like bent or... It's like not, it's not that warped because it has like showing signs of like bending. So I don't think it's warped. I think it's worse than that. Unfortunately. Oh, there it is. Back to back. Prohibition. All right, don't be damaged, Prohibition. I, I, I want you to be better. This is actually a really cool card. I'm not going to lie. It looks incredible. Back. Uh, definitely some print lines on this thing. Conditions getting worse as we go, but still very pretty foil on this. I really like this. Nice champion pack eight. So we have officially pulled the entire set of champion pack eight and also Royal Oppression. Let's see. Oh! There it was! The perfect pack! I mean, it, if this was the best foil, that's the only way it could get better. Mushroom Man, Roll of Oppression, and a foil. It's amazing. That might be a cool short right there. I don't know. We'll have to find out. Maybe I'll do a short of just completing the entire champion pack set that fast. Okay. What are we up to now? Seven foils now, if you include the other Gravity Behemoth. The only double we've pulled was of Mind Crush, which is back to back, which is funny. Let's see what else we can get. Can we get three more foils out of here? These last few packs. This is ending in like really hot because <laughs> it started pretty slow, like real slow. Oh, we are going to get another one. Dimensional Fissure. I hope this means we get two of everything. That would be great. Uh, Mushroom Man. Okay, Mushroom Man likes to appear. A little bit of a thing up there. Not great. Okay, pretty good back on this. Okay, just that little dot right there is kind of annoying, but still pretty nice condition on the Dimensional Fissure. The Dim Fizz. Very nice. All right, that's our eighth foil. Looking good. Down to the last few. Okay, two more in here. Should be in theory, right? I mean, we picked up, we pulled like five foils in the last 10 packs. It's been insane. Royal Oppression. Very good. We'll take that as many times as you want to give it to us. Champion pack eight. Beautiful, beautiful. Silent Swordsman level or Silent Magician. I have somehow not even noticed this card as we've been opening this. We've probably pulled it like 20 times. Okay. Oh, Lumina appears again. Second Lumina. Let's go. In a Mushroom Man making his appearance. Okay. Lumina, you are quite awesome. Okay. Back looks pretty pretty good definitely better than some of those other ones this is probably better than the first one's a little bit more oc though which is unfortunate and there is a little bit of a like a edge issue on the top of these luminous still really sick though that is an awesome super all right that's what nine foils and also yeah guys i'm gonna evaluate cards most of you guys know that sometimes i'll get a comment and they're like yeah man just you, why are you always talking about centering or the condition it's like well it's just part of it man that's part that's part of what we do around here we open the packs pull the cards, get excited, and then we evaluate what condition they're in. That's just how it goes here on Ruxin 34. So, I mean, I'm sorry. That's just that's just going to happen. So I'm just going to let you know now that if you don't like that, it, it's not going to stop. It's just going to happen because I do like to grade my cards. So, you know, you want to see, is it gradable as a 10? Is it going to be a nine? How do the cards hold up in the packs for like the last the 16 years? It's always interesting to see. Or how did they print the new cards? Like, did they have factory issues? Did they not? It's always just fun to look at that stuff and observe what these packs have going on with them. It's just another layer of the opening, you know? It's not just about pulling the cards, which, you know, that's kind of what we want to do is pull the cards, but it is cool. Here we go. Let's see what we can get. Silent Swordsman. And I keep wanting to say Silent Swordsman. I just said it anyway. Silent Magician. It's a different thing. Silent Swordsman is a cool card, but he is not the one. So what have we not pulled a second of? I guess it's the worst one, the Prohibition, which I would... I'd be really happy with having two because I think that's a cool card. Okay, we got a Valkyria. Very nice. Is it gonna, are we gonna get a 10th foil? Hopefully we do. We've got six packs left. I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna happen or not. Come on guys, send us the luck. We need some luck in the comments. Okay, Herald of Creation, Cell Explosion Virus. Oh man, I'm getting nervous. I really want I really want that Prohibition now. I saw it and I think that's my favorite looking one. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, Burial from a Different Dimension. Very cool. Royal Oppression Mushroom Man. That was a great pack. Look at this. I don't know how much these are individually, but I think that could make your money back from those three without a foil, which is insane. So that's like the dream pack if you don't get a foil right there. I mean, all those are, you know, four plus dollars. Necro Garna, oh my gosh, is it really coming down? I really hope that this is not in the last pack because that means, I think I pulled this from the bottom. So that would mean it's been sitting on the bottom the whole time, which means the foil is probably in bad shape <laughs> uh, based on that. Oh no, oh no, give us another foil, come on. Three packs left. No, no, come on, here it comes. No, no. Where are you, Prohibition? Are you here? Please, be in this pack, please. We're gonna do a little suspense here. We're gonna do this. Then we're gonna do a, the, the reverse, which I said we weren't gonna do, but you know, for the end suspense, we can do it, okay? That's fair. Okay. 
Prohibition. Be in this pack. I believe in you. Last two packs. Will it have the Prohibition Super Rare? Here we go. Mushroom Man numero uno. Ah, it's just a rare. No, no. It's a good one, but it's not the Prohibition. Oh, final pack. We're missing a second Prohibition. Come on, guys. Final pack opening. If you guys have enjoyed the video so far, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content coming out very, very soon, aka tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day. Prohibition, please be in the last pack. Last pack magic. Champion pack eight. We need you. Make it happen. Final pack of 100, basically, packs. Alien Warrior, come on. We have Cell Explosion Virus. And we have a Silent Magician. Now I'm wondering, Justin, does your pack have a foil in it? I don't know. I don't know because we only have nine foils. Okay. But still really cool because at least we were not short of Illumina. I'm happy that we got two Illumina. A lot of times in Champion Pack, you won't get any of the best card or you only get one or something like that so this turned out pretty well i'm happy with it and this will probably be the last time we open this mini champion pack eight shout out to tom flow show daxer jt cho puffins of doom ernesto dienda micycle america doister supreme sage 21 and under tie show ian musa junior barding and mimic echo thank you guys for supporting the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one peace